Hey everybody, it's Matt. I know it's been a little while. Um, my wife and I are currently on a six week RV adventure journeying through the West's national parks, uh, most of them at least, many of them at least. And uh, so internet access has been a little spotty, so I haven't been able to check in as often as I'd like to. But I received the notification that I just hit a thousand subscriptions. So thank you so much for those of you that have subscribed and continued to do so. And thank you for supporting this channel. It's something that I'm really passionate about. And I'm so glad to have you on board. Anyway, as promised, once I hit a thousand subscriptions, I would give you a little gear bag tour. A tour of the gear that I take with me on a day trip to one of the national parks. In this case, we just got back from Yosemite and the Mariposa Grove of Giant Sequoias. And so I'm going to show you what I took with me and the gear I took and and see what you think. All right, so let's take a look. So this is the F-Stop Guru Ultralight backpack. It's a wonderful day pack, and one of the primary primary reasons I love this is that it has uh, space for camera gear, but also has space for other crap, which is really important when you're on a trip and you need things other than camera gear. You can't eat a camera lens no matter how much you've tried. Anyway, so in here I've got a long sleeve t-shirt, I've got a raincoat just in case. I've got a water bladder that holds about uh, two or three liters, something like that, in here. And that's really helpful because one of the sites that we were visiting did not have access to potable water. So that's really helpful to have. Beyond that, I have strapped to the uh, shoulder strap here, the Peak Design Capture Clip. And usually when I'm walking about and I want to have my camera at the ready, I clip it into this and it's right there at my side. I have a review on my YouTube channel as well. This is a great thing and I continue to use it every day. Over here strapped to the side is my MiPhoto uh, road trip travel tripod. And this is the aluminum version. They make a, a carbon fiber one as well. It's a little bit lighter, but it's a lot more expensive. This one does me just fine for my purposes, and it's been a great companion. It's also really good just for mirrorless cameras. I used it on DSLR before, and it's perfectly fine. Now, the meat of it. In here, the camera supply area. This is the, I think, medium ICU. Um, F-Stop has all these different interchangeable uh, camera units, little camera cubes that can be slipped in here. You can use a bigger one if you're taking more gear, a smaller one if you need room for other stuff. Really great. And here is my Fuji X-T3. This is my workhorse camera. It's where I, what I take with me everywhere. Attached to it is the 10 to 24 F4 zoom lens, ultra wide zoom lens. It's an amazing lens, incredibly sharp through all of its apertures. It's even sharper than a lot of the full frame wide angle lenses I've used in the past and I love it. In addition to that, I've got a 35 millimeter, oops, F2, the Fuji F2 lens as well. And this is a great 50 millimeter equivalent, good for portraits, good for a little bit of a tighter crop than my ultra wide angle can give me. And then, this is really cool. This is a rental that I received just for this trip. This is the Fuji 55 to 200. And uh, this is a telephoto zoom lens. It's a variable aperture. Can't remember off the top of my head what those apertures are. But uh, this is a great lens I've used to capture the blood moon about a week and a half ago. And it was exceptional at that, very sharp. I look forward to capturing more distant landscapes and being able to compress some of the landscapes with this lens. So I don't usually shoot a lot of telephoto, but I'm looking forward to using this on this trip. Beyond that, I've got a little uh, low pro memory card holder with a bunch of SD cards. I'm not erasing or formatting any of my memory cards on this trip until I get home and I've got a backup uh, on an external hard drive as well as on the cloud. And beyond that, that's kind of a rough overview of what's going on in here. I usually also carry a lot of snacks and uh, they're all gone now. I ate them all during the trip yesterday. Anyway, uh, I hope that's been kind of insightful in some way, kind of a fun look at what I take on a usual trip to the national parks. Um, one of the most important things that kind of keeps me going on my trips is what snacks to bring and what I can look forward to once I get to the top of that cliff at the end of that hike. You know, what are we looking forward to to replenish the energy? So in the comments below, let me know what snacks you take on hikes and uh, what kind of keeps you going, motivates you and all that good stuff. 
Anyway, thank you again for helping me to reach a thousand subscriptions, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you soon.